Hi guys, so this is a video for the guys at the Stanchester School. Um, your PE team and Tom Houchin, they've asked me to do like a basic beginner kickboxing workout for you guys to do as part of your remote home learning. Um, so hopefully we'll run this one today, just do some basic movements, kicks, punches, some head movement and have a little move around with it. And then maybe next week or the week after or whatever we'll move the videos on, try and progress you guys a little bit um, in kickboxing and K1. So I'm Giles Richards, I've run the academies, I've got my own gyms, GR Martial Arts, all around Bournemouth, Yeovil, Bristol area. Um, so I fight in that as well and coach. And then I'm also um, an active bodyguard, so I've looked after various different people. So let's get into this one. So we'll just start with a nice easy warm up. So we're just going to star jump and then just squat down as one move. So up and then straight down, up, straight down, up. Okay, so all the way up, all the way down. Obviously, you guys can do this for as long as you want to do. I'm going to keep the warm up quite short so we can get into it. You just warm it up. Let's go out wide, all the way down. Get your bum back, knee forwards, feet wide, hands up, and a star jump. Keep breathing all the time, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just keep it going. We'll go 10 more. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two more, one more. Back. Cool. Cool, so next thing we we'll go straight into press ups. Either do normal press ups or make it a little bit harder for yourself and bring your knees in. So, normal press ups with your elbows in, drop and drive. And drive, or set your hands out a little bit, and as you come down, bring your knee in, push up. Two more. Last one. Good. So go straight onto our back. We'll just go with normal setups, so go arms crossed rather than swinging your arms all over the place. If you're swinging your arms, it's just helping you get up. So arms crossed if you can in here. Straight down, straight up. Same with these. You can do as many as you guys want to do. But I'll keep it short for your video. Up and squeeze, feet on the floor. Arms crossed. If you want to make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can um, do a sit up and stand up with it. So you're gonna sit up, get up, down. Sit up, get up. Wow. Go two more. One more. So obviously in the classes we do a lot more um, warm up and fitness stuff, but maybe we don't have so much time in the video. So you've done a little bit of a warm up, you've warmed your legs up, abs, upper body, lower back, so that's just stretch it off. So arm upside your head, and just stretch out your triceps, just pull it back, and the other one, straight up. Okay, so that's the back of your arms done. And go arm across, like I'm sure you all know anyway. Stretching out your shoulder. Hold three, two, and the other side. Up and across. Good, so that's your shoulders done, triceps done. Now we'll do biceps on the top, so you're just gonna roll your hands over to stretch them out. And the other way. Good, and then just stretch out your back. So hands out in front of you, and arch your back, push away. Four, three, two, one. Then we'll work the chest, so hands up behind your back and push your chest away. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Of course, that's most of your upper body done. Obviously, we're just running through fairly fast. Let's go into your legs. And we'll just hold it up behind. Working your quads. Four, three, two. Bring the same leg straight up in front of you. So doing your hamstring underneath. Good for your kicks and flexibility. Good, other one up in front. So hamstrings, up behind, quads. 
Sweet. Check it out. Okay, so what we'll start with, probably the most important thing for you guys, what is the most important thing, is your stance and how you stand. So, left foot forward, right foot back. If you're right handed, left hand back, left foot back. If you're left handed, you want the power at the back. So I'm an orthodox fighter, that means right hand back, front foot facing the target, back foot off centre line, you should be able to see it in there. So front foot facing, back foot off. If you're doing kickboxing or K1, if you're boxing, you can turn yourself off a little bit more to turn the body off, but it's not very helpful when you're kicking. So I'm gonna go square on with the front one, back foot off like 45 degrees, feet about shoulder width or just over shoulder width apart. Bent knees, we don't wanna be standing up too tall in case you're getting kicked in the leg. So hands up, so this is how the basic stance will go. From here, both hands high, elbows tucked in, covering the body, hands up, covering the head, and bent knees all the time. Not leaning over the front, not leaning over the back, Sort of like 50-50 weight transfer is ideal for you guys. So this way, here like this, left foot in, right foot back. Exactly the same this way. Left foot in, right foot back, hands up high. Chin down, eyes on the target. So chin in here, eyes on the target, not chin up. So here, tight elbows covering that body. Okay, so once you've got your stance sorted and a good base, so you don't feel like you can be pushed, around or fall off any of the shots, we can start moving with it, called the drag step, so same as if we're boxing. So if you're moving forward, your lead foot will work first, it will step and then the back foot will close the gap, called the drag step, so step and stop. So we don't want to cross the legs, you don't want your feet in line here when you're moving, you don't want to walk past the other one, you don't want to walk with the other foot. If you're moving forwards, your front foot goes first, so you step and stop, move forward, step and stop, hands high, elbows in, chin down, shoulders, Good, step and stop. So if I'm going backwards, exactly the same, but the back foot goes first. So step, stop, step, stop, step, stop, step, stop. Forwards, step, stop, step, stop, chin down, keeping that frame base really good. Step, stop, good. So if I wanted to move to my left, my left foot would lead. So I step and stop, step and stop. If I wanted to move to the right, exactly the same, right foot would lead. Step and stop, step and stop. Cool, so if I was the other stance, left hand back, left foot back in here, look. This is my base, front foot facing forward, feet apart, some stability with the legs. So imagine if you're gonna get hit and pushed or whatever with a kick, you wanna be able to take that shot rather than having your feet together or in line or in line this way, which means you've got limited balance. So one foot forwards, one foot back in here. So you might get caught in the other stance, so it's ideal to work both sides. So it's exactly the same. Front foot moves forwards, back foot closes the gap. Front foot forwards, Good, and then moving backwards, exactly the same. Look. Back foot leads, back foot leads, back foot leads. Front foot, front foot, front foot. If I'm going to the right, right foot leads. Here, if I'm going to the left, left foot leads. Not crossing over. Okay, so not in line, not square, not crossing, not crossing, moving forwards. Just keeping your feet apart all the time. Nice, steady base beneath you. So I'm back in my normal stance now, so right leg back, right hand up, elbows tucked in here. So we'll just run through it one more, stepping in, Drag step forward, drag step back, drag step to the left, and then drag step to the right. Nice tidy feet, good base, front foot facing, back foot off center in here. Cool. So I'll move you guys on swiftly with the boxing. So we'll just work some simple punches. So the lead hand, no matter which stance you are, is the jab. So I'm orthodox, like I said, so my right hand's back, my right foot's back, my left hand is the jab. Same as if I'm boxing, my lead hand's the jab. So chin down, elbows in, and try and throw the punch with your elbow tucked, rather than lifting it and then throwing it. So it comes dead straight, straight line, then back to guard, near it. Boom, back to guard, so that's your jab. So you guys can obviously fire through this, run through this as many times as you wanna throw it. All the way out, all the way back in. Try and have your right hand, or whichever st stance you're in, the back hand to be covering the head and near it. Push out, bring it back. Out and back, one move, boom. You can start turning the body to work the body mechanics and twisting, but it's a little bit more advanced, so just keep it simple, punch your punch out, punch your hand out, and back to guard, boom. So that's the jab, so the backhand is just your punch or cross punch, so it's dead straight, exactly the same. I wanna fire it with my elbow in tight still, left hand framing up, covering the face. Here, punch out, just twist through for more extension, more power, try not to lean over the shots, the same as when you're drag stepping, we were staying pretty central, Exactly the same here. Punch out and bring it back to guard. Punch out, bring it back to guard. That's my backhand, my right hand. That's the power, that's the cross hand. So if I'm facing this way, I'm working the jab. Look, front foot facing, just twist and punch. Eyes on, 
Twist and punch. Right hands up. Twist and punch. Yeah. Twist and punch. I'm facing this way. I'm just still working the jab. Right hand stays tight. Punch and then back to guard. Straight out, back to guard. Not leaning forwards, not sitting, not off to the side. Just keep it simple today. 50-50 with a weight transfer. Punch out, back to guard. Cool. So run them two punches together. We're going to go jab and then you'll cross. Hands up high. So jab, cross and then back into guard. Jab, cross, back into guard. Same with this. You can run for it for as long as you guys want. Until you're comfortable with it and then move yourselves on. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. It's exactly the same as I've been if I was in the other stance. So it's a southpaw stance. So left foot back, left hand back behind you. Your right hand, your lead hand is the jab. Here. So it's good to work both sides. So you guys, even if you're right handed, can work this way too. So punch out. So that's your jab. Nice and long. Straight shot. Other hand back in guard. Good. And then your cross will be your power hand. Is your left hand. You guys that are left handed here. Boom. Back to guard. Out and back. Out and back. Good. Switch back through. So work whichever stance you guys are, whichever handed you are. Right hand, right hand back, left handed people, left hand back in here. So punch, punch, back to guard. Next important thing is to breathe through the shots rather than just arm punching here like this. It's to breathe through for power. So here, <coughs> breathe through. Breathe. 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 One more. So breathing through the shots gives you more power. Cool. So we'll just do two more punches for you guys. Nice hook and a nice uppercut. So we'll start with the hook, we'll work it off the lead hand. It can come off any, but you guys are gonna do it off your lead hand. So the one that would fire the jab, we're gonna throw the hook with. So with the hook, we're punching to the side of the head. If we're going for a head or we can come to the body, but we're gonna go for the head. So you're gonna go fist an elbow in a straight line. So that when, the, when you're hitting the target, the shot follows. Rather than having it at an angle or an angle here, uh, it might hurt the wrist a little bit. So we're just going to keep it flat and simple today. So from a guard here, try and get your whole body to turn through the hook. Here, the hook, and then back to guard. So my whole body's turning, and my arm, all as one move. Not the arm, and then the hips, everything together. Bang, and back to guard. Notice right hand stays up tight still, as if we're throwing those straights. Bang, back to guard. Hook. Hook. So as I said, we can throw it off any side, but we're just throwing it off the lead hand. Bang. So if I was in the other stance, you guys are left handed here, look. Right hand just comes through, and then back to guard. Everything turning through on the hook. Boom, maximum power. And back this way. Good, so you can just breathe through the shots. Good, so off your backhand, you're gonna go an uppercut. It's the same idea as the hook. You want fist and elbow in a straight line, so when you hit the target, it doesn't, the shock doesn't stop in the wrist or anywhere. So you want the maximum um, travel for the shock. Okay, so the hook uppercut, we're gonna fire it off the back. We could fire it off the front, but we're just gonna do it off the back today to keep it simple. So try and marry up your back leg with the hand here, look. So I don't just throw an arm punch here. I'm gonna try and use my leg to throw the shot. So more power coming from here, boom, rather than this. So there's a normal uppercut, it's just an arm punch. Now let's get it all involved, look, lift, lift. Left, left, left. Good, so everything in a straight line. If I was left handed, look, left hand, left foot back. Here, left through the head. Bang. So marry up the back leg with the back hand here. Bang, bang. Cool, so we'll just put the two together on the hook uppercut. So whichever stance you guys want to go, you're going to go lead hand, your front hand's going to throw the hook, and your back hand's going to throw the uppercut, and try and get your body to marry the shots up with the hands. So try and get it all to work together. So here, look. Hook, and then uppercut, back to guard. Hook, I've twisted through. Uppercut, get your leg to force the uh, momentum and power upwards. So twist, drive up, and then back to guard. Tidy feet, they've not come square, they've not come in line. Front foot facing still, look. Hook, up, and back to guard. Hook, up, and back to guard. Chin down, look, eyes on the target, shoulders up. Uppercut, here, straight line, boom, straight line, back to guard. Hook, up, back to guard. Hook, up, back to guard. Hook, up. Cool, so you've thrown the jab cross and the hook uppercut, just run those four together, look. Left foot forwards, right foot back. So simple jab, simple cross, short, sharp hook, and uppercut. So we're going one, two, three, four, back to guard. 
One, two, three, four, back to guard. One, two, three, four, back to guard. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Make sure when one hand's punching, the other hand's guarding. So jab's out, the back hand's covering. Crosses out, the jab hand is covering. Hooks out, right hand's up. Uppercut's up, left hand's in guard, back to guard. So cover, 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 cover. Back to guard, two more. Jab, cross, hook, up. One more, jab, cross, hook, up. Did yourselves in the other stance, you should be going jab, cross, hook, up, back to guard. Jab, cross, hook, up, back to guard. Jab, cross, hook, up. One more time. Cool, so let's move you guys on some legs. Okay, so that's some basic punches, some basic movement. Obviously, we can go into way more detail with it. But let's move you on again and work um, some basic kicks on the kickbox on our K1. So normal stance like we were in, off your back leg, we're just gonna start with a basic knee. So hands staying up, toes staying down when you fire the knee, and then back to guard. So my knee points forward, toes are down, rather than having your foot coming forwards as well. Toes pointed down, so guard up here, look. Knee through, try and keep that balance, so your knee, and then land back where you were. Knee, land back where you were. Knee, land back where you were. One more. So we're gonna run it off the front leg as well. So that was the knee off the back leg, off your front leg, straight up, back to guard. Up, back to guard. Up, back to guard. Back to guard. Notice I'm landing straight forwards again, I'm not coming here and landing square on or side on. Just knee high, land back down into a normal stance. If it was a back one, knee, and then back down to a normal stance. Knee, back down to a normal stance. So we're gonna go left knee, right knee, or if you're in the other stance, right knee, left knee. Whichever way, we're gonna go lead leg, then your back leg. So up, up, and back to guard, keep your balance. Boom, boom, back to guard. One, Two, so just as you're throwing a jab cross, you want to get these legs to work exactly the same. So imagine it's just a jab cross there. So here's up top, work those legs exactly the same as if you're punching. Land in a normal stance, front foot facing, knee, knee, back to guard. Knee, knee, see toes are down, knees are up. Toes down, toes down, push through again. Toes down, toes down, and again. Toes down, toes down, good. Nice, so next thing you're gonna do um, is work your front kicks. So off the back leg, we're just gonna bring the knee up as if we're firing the knee, but you're gonna snap the kick out at the end. So kick, back to guard. Uh, knee comes up, kick, and back to guard. So your knee goes first, then your kick, then your knee comes back, and then you drop it out, so it's like four parts. Knee, kick, knee, and then back to guard. Knee, kick, knee, and back to guard. Toes up, kicking with the ball of your foot underneath, rather than pointing your toes. So toes up, up into the body, so we can go to the leg, go to the body, and we can come up to the head, but you guys are gonna keep it simple, straight into the body. So dink it into the body and back to guard, look, I've landed in a good stance again. Front foot facing, kick, land, foot comes out. Knee through, yeah, knee through. So we go five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so we can do that exact same thing off the lead leg from the same stance. So it comes straight up, straight into the body. So if they're moving in, just kicking up, look. Exactly the same as if we are throwing a jab, nice and sharp. That lead leg needs to be the same here. So front kick, snap it up, hands up. Boom, hands up, hands up. We'll go five again. One, two, land with some stability. Three, land, four, land, five. Back to guard, so we'll run those two together. So front leg, then your back leg, as if you were throwing a jab cross, nice and sharp up top. So hands tight, elbows tucked in, front leg, back leg, and back to guard. So body, body, and then bring it back. Snap it, snap it, and bring it back. Let's go, one, straight back, two, back to guard, three, back to guard, four, back to guard, five. Good, good, good. So we'll just mix it up a little bit. With your lead leg, you're gonna throw a knee. With your back leg, just gonna front kick. So knee, front kick. Land in that good stance. Knee, kick. Nice and fluid, as if you were punching up top. Knee, kick, 
back to guard. Knee, kick, back to guard. Knee, kick, back to guard. One more, knee, kick. Cool, so we'll just change the kick up for this last one. Off your back leg will work it. Now instead of front kick, so up into the body, you're gonna bring your knee up and push away with a push kick. So knee comes up and then you drive away. So imagine you're trying to move somebody now. So up and push. So bottom of your foot, open your foot all the way up and push away. Hips go forwards, push away. So that's off the back leg, up and in, up and in. Knee high and drive away. Cool, one more this side, up, push away. So we can do the same kick with the lead leg as well. So it comes up, and push. Trying to move somebody back, push away. So not a front kick, let's snap. This one, you push. And again, push, push. So exactly the same as when we are punching, you're breathing through the shots. When you're kicking, we want to do the same thing. So up, push, push away. Push, push. One more. Okay, all good. So I hope you're picking it up so far. So we've done some basic punches, some basic kicks, a little bit on your stance. Now we'll just work on a little bit of head movement. So hands are gonna stay up where they were. Front foot facing forwards, back foot off center, whichever stance you're in, front foot on, back foot off center, elbows in. All you're gonna do is some duck and weave, as if we're boxing or whatever we're doing. So hands are gonna stay tight, you're gonna roll from one knee to the other knee. We're not gonna go past the knees, we're not gonna come back, we're not gonna go forward, just gonna sit between the knee caps now. And your knees are gonna work the roll. So rather than just bobbing your head in here, you're gonna try and get your legs to do the work. So as we were punching earlier, we are trying to marry everything up, the legs with the hands. The same when we're rolling, try and get your legs to roll it, legs. So coming from one knee to the other one, basically. In and out and back to guard. So roll, roll and back up. Roll, roll, you guys just keep running through it. Up, up and back to guard. Up, up, hands are staying up, look, chin staying in, eyes on the target, bent knees, and then back to stance. Not standing right up, bend. Here, look, roll, roll, back to guard, yeah, whoop, whoop. Back to guard, roll, roll, underneath. So it needs to be low enough, that if someone hooks, punches to the head, you can roll underneath that shot. Not too low though, with the kickboxing or K1, in case a knee comes through. So standing here, let elbows tuck, roll, roll. So underneath the shot, roll, roll, underneath. Roll, roll, so that was with my right hand back, right leg back. If I was in the other stance, south four stance, left hand back, left foot back in here. Roll, 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 roll. Bent knees, front foot facing. Roll, roll, back to guard. Roll, roll, roll. And again, roll, roll. Okay, so back to where I was here. A couple more. Roll, 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 roll. My feet slightly come off, especially with the back foot here. Look, when I'm rolling, I don't know if you can see that. And then rolling back to it. Roll, roll rather than putting too static on the ground in here. You can do it that way, there's no drama. So roll, roll, make sure you're trying to marry it all up. Head, everything, knees, feet, hands, all working together as one. A couple more, underneath. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Cool, so that's something that's coming over your head. If something's coming straight to your head, we've got to slip it side to side. So over the top would be rolling. If it's coming straight at you, just got to get dip off centre. So that's all we're going to do, exactly the same idea, we're just going to slip side to side. So here, let's slip, slip, and then back to guard. So imagine the shots come through here, and coming through here. So hands are staying high, look, just cover to the side, to the side, and back to guard. Dip, dip, back to guard. Slip, slip, back to guard. Slip, slip, again. Slip, slip, and again. Slip, slip, and again. Slip, slip. Put the twos together, look. So you're just going to slip off centre, and then roll underneath, back to guard. Slip off centre there. Imagine a straight's come through and a hook. So you're going to dip and roll. To the side, let's slip and roll. And go the other way, let's slip and roll. Slip and roll. Back to guard, let's slip and roll. Knees are working, let slip, roll. Look at my legs at here. Slip, roll. Chin down, slip, roll. Slip, roll. Slip, roll. Back up, slip, roll. One more, slip, roll. Good, good, good. So what we're going to do now is statically, so on the spot as we are, we're just going to run a couple of combos. And then you guys are done for this first one today. So we'll keep the, sim uh, keep the first combo really simple. Look, we're going to go three punches to the top, hands back to guard, and then fire your knee. So you're going to go one, two, three, back to guard, knee. And again, one, two, three, knee, and back to guard. 
So it's jab, cross, jab, knee. Make it flow. So it's one, two, three, four. Back to guard. One, two, three, four. Back to guard. One, two, three, four. Hands are covering. Bump, 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 back in, knee. So you can make the knee follow this jab here, like one. Or do all three. Stop, cover, knee. Make it follow, boom. Or stop, knee. And again, one, two, three, knee. Hands high, elbows in, again. Two, three, knee. One more, two, three, knee. Cool, so next combo we'll do, we just add a little bit of head movement as well. So simple, look. With your lead hand, jab. As you pull the jab back, you're gonna slip to the side. So slip to your back leg. Slip, fire your right punch, and then your knee off the back leg. So again, jab, slip off, punch, knee, and back to guard. Jab, slip, punch, knee. Jab, slip, punch, knee. Nice and strict movements, elbows tuck left. Jab, slip, punch, knee. Make it flow. One, two, three, four, back to guard. One, two, three, four, back to guard. One more. Two, three, four, back to guard. Cool, so you can run, run it off the exact same, run it exactly the same off the other side. Look, you're going jab, slip, cross, knee, and back to guard. Jab, dip off to the side, cross, knee, back to guard. One more, jab, slip, here, cross, knee. Cool, so back in my normal stance. One more combo that we'll throw for you guys. Here, look, we're gonna jab, cross. As you pull this hand back, you're gonna roll out, cross, and then off your back leg, gonna push, kick away. So one, two, roll, three, and then off my back leg, up and push away. So I've gone headshots at the top, head, head, roll, headshot, and then push away, straight into the body. Jab, cross, bring it in, roll tight, cross as I come out, and push, kick away. Snap it back, land with normal stance. Jab, cross, roll, cross, knee, and back to guard. Sorry, push kick, back to guard. Jab, cross, roll, punch, push kick, and back to guard, again. Two, roll, breathe through the shots, eyes forward, elbows tucked, hands up, shoulders, chin down, eyes forward, one, two, elbows in, look, boom, cover, roll, punch, push. So it looks exactly the same off the other side. Lead hand, jab, cross, roll through, cross, push away, back to guard. One, two, roll down, punch, push away. Hit, hit, evade the shot, hit, and then move them, create some space, up and in. Back to guard, two, roll, punch, Push away. A couple more this side. Jab, cross, roll, cross, push away. Jab, cross, roll, cross, push away. Okay, decent guys. So done a couple of punches, a couple of kicks, a little bit of head movement, work on your base, your feet, your stance, and then some little combos. So hopefully you've picked it up and we'll see you on the next one. Ha